So although the vote, the motion was defeated last night, um, I feel that the lesson that we've learned is that we have to be on guard. We have to protect women's rights in this country. We have to protect reproductive rights. I mean, it was very shocking to us uh, that the uh, minister responsible for the status of women voted for the motion. A third of uh, the prime minister's cabinet voted for the uh, for the motion. So I mean, I think that sends a message that we can expect to see this kind of thing again. Do you think that she should have to resign as a minister for the status of women, uh, a woman who is now outspoken uh, on the issue of abortion? Well, I think you should take that up with uh, the Prime Minister. Um, he has to be held accountable for what his ministers do. Um, he made it very clear that this deb debate was not to be reopened. One would expect to see caucus solidarity on the front bench. Um, so I think that's something that he has to deal with um, in terms of uh, the way his ministers voted. But he can have an opinion on this. Uh, you know, she, she is ostensibly speaking for you. Well, I mean, she's, she is meant to be speaking for uh, women in this country and not holding their rights, but I do think um, that it's a question that the Prime Minister has to deal with in terms of accountability um, and credibility of his own cabinet. And that's a, a question, I think, overall, and this is just a, yet another example of the credibility that he lacks based on the words that he puts out there and then what actually happens. What do you think of her explanation on Twitter and in the House of Commons saying that she did this because she doesn't agree with sex selection abortions and she wants to stand up for girls, but also in the House, the record of the government in protecting women? Well, this motion was clearly about uh, undermining women's equality and reproductive rights. Um, that's been very clear from day one, and I think that's how the vote was taken. So I think she can rationalize it how she wants, but as the status of women, um, she clearly um, betrayed the women of this country by not not standing up and ensuring that uh, uh, that we you know that we don't let the clock turn backwards. And so I, I think it was disappointing. I, I was really surprised when I saw her vote for the motion. I don't buy her argument at all.